How do you plead today? Guilty. That's a guilty plea in court this morning from the accused Seminole Heights serial killer. The judge then sentenced him to life in prison. I'm Stacy Scheibel. Good morning and thanks for joining us. Brittany Muller joins us live from the Tampa courthouse with more on this breaking news. Brittany, how old Donaldson III changed his plea today? Was that expected? Stacy, it wasn't as expected. After nearly six years, Howell Donaldson III pleaded guilty to four counts of murder. This is in avoidance of the state seeking the death penalty. How do you plead today? Guilty. As we stand here today, there's no way that you're leaving the Florida State Prison. Donaldson walked into the courtroom on Monday morning handcuffed wearing a red jumpsuit. Donaldson's attorney says he was diagnosed with schizophrenia. The now confessed serial killer randomly killed four people in separate shootings in Seminole Heights between October 9th and November 14th of 2017. These are the victims, Benjamin Mitchell, Monica Hoffa, Anthony Naiboa, and Ronald Felton. As the state presented evidence recalling the details of each of the four murders, it brought visible pain to each of the victim's families. They cried and comforted one another. The judge accepted Donaldson's plea and sentenced him to four consecutive life in prison sentences. Monica Hoffa's father and sister of Benjamin Mitchell both spoke directly to Donaldson. I just wanted them to stick a needle in your arm and you'd be gone. But then I thought, that is no way for you to go because we are all suffering here today because of what you did. And now you will get to suffer every day like we do. Hate is such a strong word, but I hate you. I hope when you go to jail at night when you lay in your cell that you see Benjamin's face Monica's face, Anthony and Ronald's face. I pray you have not one sleepless night. Donaldson will serve a life sentence in avoidance of the death penalty. State Attorney Susie Lopez is expected to speak about this case in 30 minutes. Of course, we'll keep you updated on air throughout the day and, of course, on our WFLA app. Reporting live this morning from downtown Tampa, Brittany Muller, 8 on your side.